Good morning, everyone, or good afternoon to those <laughs> watching this in the afternoon. Um, this is something I said myself this week because um, we ran into a lot of people that are finding their tenant now being disabled for basic authentication. What does that mean? That is you and your username, and you're in your account. That's basic. It's a username password. That two-factor, that two-step authentication, duo, uh, multi-factor, everybody names it a different name. It doesn't matter. It's modern. It's multi-factor. You set up a 401k, they're going to send you a one-time passcode to your phone. They want to make sure it's you. Um, you set up your, your bank account, Chase, for example. You have to have your phone if you're going to log into your account from somewhere else. It's modern. Hence the reason it's called modern authentication. Now, we're noticing, at least, at least for myself, I saw an uptick where people were turning on modern auth and all of a sudden Outlook was no longer connecting or downloading any new emails. So basically, the modern um, authentication setting is found under this link. Personally, I don't like clicking all over this place, so just give me a hard code and link and I'm good with that, right? So if you click on the link, Oh, sorry about the little links there. But if you click on the link, it brings you right to your settings, org settings, services, modern auth. Okay. Now, this is the clincher right here. A lot of times people don't realize it's been turned on, but these boxes down here are unchecked. Okay. So these are pretty important protocols for a lot of people it could be an application it could be your website it could be even your the big beautiful scanner you have sitting next to your desk you know uh, scanning it to email so these are protocols that come october 1st will be retired basic authentication is just a let's say it this way it's a big hole waiting to happen um, I think Microsoft uh, was maybe the last ones to say, okay, 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 we're going to do it. Now we're going to let them go for another two years. And I think a lot of companies, you know, Google, Yahoo, you know, any account, at t you have to have multi-factor now. You could disable it if you choose to. There's always a setting, but you're, at, you're running a risk that you get compromised. Well, with that said, October 1st, basic auth, bye-bye. So... If you're not set up, you're going to be crying the blues if you don't have pa uh, self-service password reset set up, which if I don't mind adding here, okay, this is, first of all, this is the best setting for your admin center, admin.microsoft.com. This is the easiest way to get in here, okay? Um, I don't care if there's PII, I'll scrub it out later, but um, there's usually settings here where you could change to, you know, where these these options are not there and uh, personally I like it having expanded so with that said um, with no further ado we're gonna go to that tool that this whole entire video was about this tool here will diagnose whether your tenant is disabled for basic authentication so if something's broken right now, you're like, oh my God, what happened? Outlook's not connecting. It's not even asking me for my, you know, my, uh, uh, you know, authorize the sign in on my phone. It's not sending me a code, whatever. You know, uh, you have to be ready for the un unexpected. So you need to come over here to this link. It auto populates the diagnostic for enable basic authentication in XO. Short for Exchange Online. I always love that. It's so cute. It's EXO. So you run it. And you're like, do, 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 do. Contact support. If this doesn't work and you keep on looking at this goal from left to right. Oh, man. When you're caffeinated and you don't know what to do with yourself, right? So, anywho, this is uh, my little icon up here. I use uh, Lucky Girl. Because I have a phone ferry that routes me the nicest customers, the ones I needed, or the ones that need me the most. So right here, boop, it says, hey, these are your current basic authentication settings. Basic authentication is disabled. Da, 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 da. 
I don't have to talk to Microsoft now. Wee! What was that application using? Oh, was it using ActiveSync? Was it something with the mobile devices that they weren't connecting anymore? Wait a second. Was it POP? POP3? You remember the days of pop locks back in the late 90s? That's the prototype we're talking about. Really? Get with the times now. I know grandma doesn't really want to update her computer, but you know, IMAP, very common with Google, but we don't use it like that. And then obviously PowerShell. Now, that's mostly your admins, you know, applying stuff. So, so you come down here to enable the protocol. Boop, 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 boop. I have to shake the guy's hand that did this widget or this tool because he did an, an exceptional job. So here you are, you pick the, the protocol. Like I personally don't want IMAP, but I'll, I'll turn IMAP back on, okay? So I acknowledge, boop, and you go. Here we go, drum roll please, update. So this was my contribution from the front line of Microsoft support in 365. I hope you enjoyed, um, it wasn't, sponsored it was just one of those oh, let me just post this randomly up line so that you guys could see what microsoft is developing as tools to keep your services always running as you expect it and as it was designed so you have yourself a great day and enjoy the tools that microsoft is producing for you in order to try to save you a call bye-bye and uh, thanks for being the best part of microsoft <laughs>